What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We are in Jamaica of all places. Y'all knew we were going somewhere. We are in the middle of absolutely nowhere in Jamaica as well. And look at that. I'm gonna show you what's in this bag. And I've got a bunch more right out there in a couple crawfish traps that I brought from home. But I first wanted to start this video out and explain what we're doing. So that's my boy over there, Raja. He's cutting up fresh vegetables for an awesome dish that he's gonna make later with these crawfish. I got Kelly behind the camera. We already put the drone up this morning. So we're in like a rainforest right here and it's completely covered in a canopy except for one spot right above us. And watch this. Yeah, tell me that's not a view. So Mr. Roy brought tents last night. Kelly and I slept in this one. Raj and then Mr. Roy. Raj has this vehicle. Come over here real quick. This thing is a Land Cruiser Pro diesel. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do to find one in the States, but Kelly and I will own one of these soon. I'll sell my airboat. I will borrow money if I have to, but I'm going to find this vehicle. He fills it up like once a month and he drives in the mountains everywhere he goes. This thing is absolutely awesome. I'm most thankful though that I brought this because Raj brought us to this amazing creek and it was super cold. So last night we got in and we, we got here at like 10 o'clock at night. We got in the water with our flashlights. It was so hard to film because as you can see over my shoulder, the current's ripping. Right over here is a little bit more of a slack spot, but we were able to catch some of these massive crawfish. But the coolest part was, was when I was at home watching Raj's YouTube channel, Spearfishing Jamaica. The night before we left at 12 p.m. in Florida, I was watching his crawfish video on a stream like this. I got up and I said, I gotta take my crawfish traps. There's no way I can't. So we put them out last night and I'm pretty for sure they are full of crawfish and shrimp. So in a minute, I'm gonna get in the water. Raj is preparing the soup. Roy's making coffee, Kelly's filming me, and y'all are watching. No, you said we're going to make soup. It's not soup, we're making pepper shrimp. Pepper shrimp? Yeah. So we have garlic, onions, Kelly and thyme, all that stuff. We're gonna chop them up small chunks and then <laughs> stir them up with the crayfish. Mr. Roy, what you got going on over here? I think I made a mocha china. A mocha china. <laughs> coffee and hot chocolate. That's right, and crackers. We forgot cups, so we were drinking coffee bowls. You guys and gals, I can't express enough how nervous I was to come on this trip. I had a bad gut feeling about it. I thought it was going to be dangerous. I thought they were going to mess with us at customs. We have been treated like kings and queens the entire time we've been here. Last night, I came right over here and set one of my traps once everybody went to bed because I wanted to see if the crawfish were in all of this river not just that one deep pocket so i'm gonna do my best to film this it gets a little bit noisy down by the water and we're gonna see if my one random trap has anything in it fortunately there's no poisonous snakes frogs or spiders here oh my goodness they definitely got spikes on trees though. Woo! So cold. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh that's cold. Oh, it's gonna be cold getting in this morning. Check out how clear this water is though. Big beautiful boulders. Just look at this. I would give anything in the world to have my two kids here right now. Anything. So here it is. I tied it to this little branch. I hit the jackpot, y'all. So these traps come with little strings that you can tie to branches. Oh, 
Dude, that pot is full. <laughs> this, I promise you we put two pieces of barracuda about the size of your thumb in this trap last night that Raja Raj speared a couple days ago. And I bet you I have two or three pounds of crawfish in there. Look at that. <laughs> Life does not get any better. I'll see y'all back in camp. I got a surprise. While y'all were sleeping last night, I went and put a trap out. Oh my goodness. Here. Come over here. What the heck? Those are small lobsters, man. <laughs> now, Raj didn't even know I set this, did you? Yeah, I saw you go. Uh, no, that's, I set that one earlier and I moved it. That one's over there. This was the last one. I went and put it way down there in a little slack spot. <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh, Whoa. I just about got bit. Hold on, I'm gonna dump it right here. Yeah. All right, here it goes. This was just one trap, was only out for like five hours. Whoa. Oh my god. Hey, 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 stale cracker. <laughs> Put that on a cracker, dude. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> Mud. How cool is that? Oh my goodness. We thumbnail. need to take some of these smaller ones and throw them out and let them loose. I'm actually going to turn these loose. Let them live. Let them live. Um, oh, I want to take these home so bad and put them in yeah. our creek. They said a crab, right? Is he alive? Yeah. Look at this thing. Film him with the white background. That thing should be called a scorpion shrimp because it oh, bit me man. last night right there. <laughs> That's how hard he bit me. I'm trying to let that one go. This one? Yeah, it's, it's pretty weird. These are these are invasive. These are the regular, the natural. Okay, he's so natural. he said these are natural. They're native, native to these native. waters. Yeah. We're gonna turn these loose because they're not big enough to eat anyways. Popeye. <laughs> well, while we're, we're on the topic, I want to show you another type of shrimp that's in here. We caught these last night by hand. Here's one of them right here. I think this is the one that, oh my goodness, don't do it. Oh, he almost got you in the same spot. Look at that. Careful, man. So this is the type of shrimp that I wanted to show you. There's millions of these out there. Like they're, they're all over the place and I do want to eat these. Yeah. You see any more small crawfish? What about this though? Um, what is this little guy? Hello. He's cute. Why does everything in Jamaica want to bite me? <laughs> I think that's pretty cool how he said let the native ones go. I'd want to grab one, but I'd, yeah. Ow! Oh, gosh! Hey, he's ready to fight, man. <laughs> Look at that one, he's ready. This is a female. Yeah? Yeah, nice. female. We should let her go. Kelly said you get a free ride. You know what's crazy about this is we haven't even pulled the three traps that have been baited the entire time we've been here. I know by now y'all are ready to see us get in the water, so let's go. I don't even know if I want to do it. <laughs> Raj told me not to wear a wetsuit, and I don't know if I'm manly enough. <laughs> Raj isn't wearing one. Huh? You think it's too cold? No, he's not. Instead of too salt, it's too cold. Too cold. <laughs> The crazy thing about it is the little shrimp that I showed you, there's thousands of them everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's shrimp. I'm trying to walk down this goat farm. This is not even funny. Uh -huh. I got a wetsuit right over there. Yeah, but the struggle to put on the wetsuit. So, just, whoa, just so I can explain to you, this area in the river right here, for any of y'all that have been around a creek like this, on a bend, there's a deep little like eddy, what we call it. It's quite a bit deeper right here than anywhere else in the river. 
you know, around this area. And that big rock broke off and there's little cracks in it. So that's what I'm about to show you. There's like trees and branches piled up down here from the current doing that. And all the crawfish are living in it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it This is insane. Look at this one, babe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Raj caught this one by hand last night. Get I him over the cooler real quick. Just Look at that. That's so you can make my hand. Here. Okay. This is one inch and that's ten inch. And he's way bigger than that. <laughs> He's, I'm trying to flatten him out. He's right on one inch. He's 11 inches long. Mm. Louisiana is one of my favorite places on the planet to go, especially the Fish Intimidator Lodge. But y'all ain't got nothing on that crawfish. <laughs> hey, might get pinched by that one. Bro, that thing's like a, a legit Maine lobster. Oh, we still got another one empty. Yeah. There's another one in the water right here. Oh my goodness. Bro. Mm. Whoa. Look at that thing. So we are obviously in Jamaica. This is Raj's backyard. If we were in America, I would show you all how to clean and cook these things. But I'm going to let him show you how they do it in Jamaica. He just showed me a quickie, how he did it. And I was like, oh, that's pretty neat. So y'all watch this. Yeah, first we get the, the crayfish, we kind of pinch right here with a little pressure, then you pull it off mm -hmm. with all that guts. So that's the head and the guts. Yeah. Now he's just got the body left. Yeah, so you find the middle one, then you do like this. You twist it, you twist it, then bomb. Ooh, that one's full. Look at that. Now you don't have to suck the nasty head 
Do you need to take the little gills yeah, off? Yeah, I can take those off. And you have a perfectly clean crawfish. Yeah. Like in Louisiana and all in America, they want to suck the head, and to me that grosses me out. Now we have the entire clean crawfish. Let me try. See what you got. Yeah, squeeze it right. Yeah. Whoops. He made it look easier than it is. Just like that. Looks just like a lobster head. Yep. Right into the river. He said, take the middle one. This one's got to be delicate. Finesse and oh, I see it. it's coming. You guys, it's been beautiful all morning. And just when we get ready to do the cooking segment, it's starting to rain. Look at that, though. That's all right, well, cool. you get the point. We're going to clean a bunch of them, a really good mess of them. Look at that. You know, that that's a, that is a big crawfish. And this joker just bit his oh, arm his off. Arm. Look at that. He's like, feed me. I, I honestly think he would break your finger if he got that. Do you think? I'll try uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> He'd do some damage. Oh, this one is. Oh, yeah. Here. Look at that. Mm. This is, I will say, top two or three coolest things I've ever done in my life. Ever. <laughs> like, Right here, sleeping under the stars last night with Kelly, Raja, and Roy. Raj. I keep wanting to call him Raja because that's how it's spelled. This creek, the weather. I don't know if I've touched on the topic yet of the drive here. You guys, we went around some sketchy turns. <laughs> dump trucks. So I'm familiar with construction because that's what I grew up doing. We had a dump truck in front of us that was probably... 20,000 pounds overloaded, going down steep hills and mountains and turns, Jake breaking. It was gnarly. And here we are. And after this, we're gonna go to a really cool rope swing where Kelly's kind of filming a video. It's a real clear river style pond, like a lake. And it's got crawfish too, so. Yeah, the same type. Same type of crawfish. We're gonna just vlog this whole trip away. Kelly's going to make a ton of cool videos. I'm going to make some and so is Raj. But right now we're making pepper shrimp. Yeah. Pepper shrimp. Pepper. Y'all seen it here first on Blue Gabe. Pepper. Yeah. Alright, so we are ready to get this party started. Look at that. Mm. I'm not sure what's all in that ground up pile <laughs> of goodness, but I know there's peppers. He spent about 30 minutes preparing this. So what do you got in your hand? Uh, coconut oil. Coconut oil, huh? Yeah, natural coconut oil. Is that what we put our wetsuits on with last night? Yeah. Yes. Multitasking with the coconut oil. <laughs> That's right. Let's go. It smells good. I know that. Yeah, it, it Let it get hot, hot yeah. and then throw the crawfish in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can handle that part. I mean, I cannot get... This joker ain't, don't, don't even have a head and is biting this guy. A lot less. Yeah. So anytime you're cooking seafood and things aren't the same size, I would always start with the biggest ones and add the smaller ones as you go. Hold on. No. We don't have to go nuts with the ghost peppers now. No. Well, these are okay. There's not too many bathrooms the around thing, here. The things about these. The seeds are hotter than the, the skin. 20 US, you eat that. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have a purple skin one and a brown skin one. You don't mess with those. Yeah, those are real hot. Yeah, we just flavor the food with that. We don't eat that one. I got news for y'all. I don't want to mess with the orange one. <laughs> no, they're okay, man. It's not that bad. This one is, not, is just like it's a more mild. flavor. Flavor. Yeah, the seeds. It's like seasoning your oil with onions and stuff. Right. Last night when he caught this and came swimming up to me, I was like, bro, you just caught Moby Dick of crawfish. <laughs> so I know I did, it was so hard last night when we got here and we got in the water because Kelly and I didn't know what was going on. As soon as we pulled up, he threw some barracuda, just chunks right out there in the open. And he said, we're going to bait the crawfish up. Buddy, was he not lying? Because we got in and they were everywhere. 
All right, so he took that little piece of ghost pepper out, set it to the side, and we're going to start adding the crawfish. The coconut oil has such an amazing aroma. So he's got just his own little blend of local seasonings. He said it's such a big mixture. I don't know what all's in it. If you want to taste it, you got to come to Jamaica. That's right. All right, now everything's going in. Look at that, that's the big claw. I want to eat some of these little filter shrimp because I want to taste what they taste like. I've never seen them before. Who teach you how to cook? Uh, nobody, just like me and my friend just go to the river and we just try different stuff, you know? Babe. But can y'all smell it? Woo, it's gonna be good. I love cooking with coconut oil. All right, before he gets to adding all the ingredients, that's one of the little, what I'm calling rock shrimp. I want to try it, because this is the most interesting one to me. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. They're little, but who cares? Hot. Tastes just, I ate the shell and all. Because you're cooking it in oil, it really crisps that shell up. That was really good. Yeah. It's I'm like chewing sunflower seeds up. Once you get done chewing yeah. them, then you need to spit the shell out. But the flavor was amazing. You could eat that. If I was cooking for myself, I would just cook these and eat them like that before I added all that. But we're here in Jamaica and we're going to do as Raj says we're going to do. I hope you don't want to taste anything for the rest of the trip. Taking a water break. Golly, that smells good. How old are you, Raj? Huh? 24? Yeah, I'm 24. You lived in Jamaica your whole life? Yeah. What about you, Mr. Roy? Oh, I'm 52 in June. Jamaica Where, your whole life? June, right? Yeah, my whole life, man. Can't live anywhere else. <laughs> I'd starve to death anywhere else. <laughs> I say it everywhere I go, but these people, this place, you definitely want to come to Jamaica. I probably should have let these cool down a little bit. Dude, this knife is serious. I've been wanting to get one of them chopping knives for the house. Yeah. Look at that crawfish meat right there. The peppers are hot, but they're not overpowering. Dude, if you put this over a bed of pasta, mm. that like might be one of the best things I've ever ate in my life. Wow. And should I bring this move or should I bring the pasta? Oh my goodness, babe, you're gonna have to get over here and try this. I got you a big piece out right here. That like, I gotta eat one more bite of this though. And then I'm gonna take the camera and let Kelly show y'all. Dude, that is something, something so serious. <clears throat> Woo! Peppers are starting to kick. US $20, suck the head. <laughs> I could eat this all day long. This is a crawfish. Is it super spicy? No, it's not spicy at all. Mm. There's some serious flavor in that. That's really good. Just the, the coconut oil. We didn't even use butter. No. It was all coconut oil. That's really good. Oh my gosh. Like, honestly, babe, is that not one of the best things you've ever tasted? It is perfect. It's like the perfect balance of everything. Yeah. Like, spices, 
texture, flavoring. Mm. Give us your Jake Jamaican <laughs> opinion. This mud. This mud. You guys, I can't express enough how amazing Jamaica's been and we're just getting started. Raj over here with Spearfishing Jamaica has so many crazy videos here and we're gonna have a bunch by the time we leave. Mm -hmm. Kelly's gonna have good ones. I'm so excited to learn the culture of Jamaica and just see all the people. We got to drive through probably 300 little towns last night driving here and it was amazing. But this dish, by far is one of the best things I've ever ate in my life. I'm not tooting his horn. If it was bad, I would tell him. The different flavors in here, if you like to eat seafood, Coconut oil, whatever mixture of peppers you want, your favorite seasoning. Put coconut oil in the pan, saute your crawfish or your shrimp, add your peppers, and let it simmer. You will not be disappointed. But right now this video is ending. We have an Airbnb about three hours from here in the mountains and a different spot. We're gonna go catch mud crabs and Kelly's gonna go to a rope swing and catch shrimp and bigger crawfish. You got it. Mod. Unfortunately, like, like Roy keeps saying, mod. This yeah. is mod. Mod. Mod good, man. <laughs> hey. Like I say when I'm tank diving, we'll be back like the electric bill. <laughs> because right now this video is ending. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. Thanks for following along with my girlfriend Kelly Young's channel. Check out Spearfish in Jamaica. Like Jake always says though, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. <laughs>